Hi, welcome to our bot lecture. That's a series where we show glimpses of what automation can do in reimagining our business processes. This is Shivaji Basu. I am a part of the automation practice in TCS, catering to the technology business segment. And I'm going to talk about a use case where robotic process automation is being used in supply chain. So here is our supply chain map, as you can see here. It is a, it's, it's one which is a, a reference model for a discrete manufacturing supply chain. And the bot that we are talking about is the one on the right side where it is shaded green. Uh, this bot, what it does is it tracks your shipment to customers, which is outbound, or the shipments which are coming to you from your suppliers, so that you have an early notice on what is the status of the shipment, whether it's delivered or delayed, and you can do follow-up actions. Uh, I will show you a simple run of this bot because RPA bots are expected to, to do such kind of an automation. So what this bot does is it takes the bill of lading number and goes to the carrier site, finds out the status, and updates it back. So to make it simple, I have an Excel sheet, uh, as you can see here, uh, where, uh, where the bot can uh, check the status of the shipment. So I'll just quickly open that. So this is the Excel sheet and uh, uh, where you have all the tracking numbers uh, which are uh, underway. And there are three, for example, where you want to track. So what I do is I keep the tracking number blank so that the bot can find it blank and then uh, retrieve it from the carrier site and put it back here. So um, what I do now is I run a bot. So I've made a little bot on Blue Prism. I've called it Auto Freight, as you can see here. And uh, what it does is it takes the tracking number from the Excel and goes to the site and updates it back. Now, this is a simple bot which I'm going to show it to you. This is nothing uh, very imaginative. But I'm, subsequently, I'm going to show it to you how this bot can play a very different role uh, in the process. So I started run, running the bot, and it has picked the tracking number, the first one, and it has gone to the site, and it, is, it has navigated to the specific shipment, and it is trying to read from it. Once done, it will move to the next one. So there are three in total. So this is the second one. A lot of these carriers have APIs through which the bot can fetch the, fetch the tracking number. In this case, we, we have found the GUI to be more convenient, but that's not always the best option. But in this case, the bot is able to definitively pick the status of the shipment from the screen and putting it back into the Excel sheet. This is not OCR. It is using the usual screen scraping on HTML to retrieve the status. And RPA bots are capable of doing that very well. But it can also call APIs, as you know. So it is fetching the shipment status for the third one. And once it is done, it will put it into the Excel uh, I'm using the Blue Prism bot, as you know, so each of these stages can be divided into multiple pages, and then it can be orchestrated by the Process Studio. So by now, the bot which I've updated, as you can see, this is the time on which the Excel has been updated, which, which uh, coincides with the time that is there on my laptop. And if you see here, it has updated the status here, as you can see, and it has kept the screenshot. As you can see, this is the time. This is a screenshot, which is a proof of delivery. Now, sometimes when you do an invoicing, you may have to send the proof of delivery to the customer uh, so that you can claim the invoicing to be due. So instead of putting it into Excel sheet, it could have put it into your ERP system and trigger the invoicing as well. So now, coming back to this use case, so far what we have seen is that the bot could take the tracking number, see the status, and put it back into your system. Now, that is fine. That is what an RPA bot is expected to do. 
What I'm going to show, it, show it to you now is how the same RPA bot can serve a very different role within the same process. So suppose I am a sales engineer and I have been requested by my customer to tell the status of the shipment to the customer and I would like to know the statement. Now typically what I would do is I would log into SAP, try to find out the schedule line of the shipment and then try to find out what is the tracking number and then go to that site, find the tracking numbers and tell it to the customer or even email it to him with a screenshot. But what if I have a digital assistant, which may be, a, say, a chatbot, uh, handy and available with me, and I try to use that, which can do the same thing uh, which uh, I would do manually. Now, I have created a little chatbot. This is just a miniature to, for the demonstration. But the same chat can be on WhatsApp or it can be on LinkedIn or any kind of a chat that you may have. Uh, but the question that you may ask is, if I'm posting this question to a chatbot, how does RPA play a role in this? So that's what, I, what I'm going to show it to you shortly. So here's the chatbot, and I start the conversation, and um, it, it asks me whether I have a consignment to report. I say yes, and then it finds out, it tries to find out whether it's an outbound or inbound, and I say it's, it's uh, outbound. And uh, I don't have to type the whole thing, you know, I just can type a part of it and it will pick it up. So it tries to find out who are the carriers which are engaged with me at this moment. And uh, I respond by picking one. And then it finds out all the shipment tracking numbers which are currently in transit or pending. So I pick one of these, say I pick, say, uh, uh, the last one, I can type any uh, few digits and pick it up. And once I do this, what it does is it posts a query to a Blue Prism bot, the same bot that I ran a while back. And now what you see is the Blue Prism RPA bot has taken over the message from the chat bot and executing on its behalf. That means the job of finding out the status has been delegated by the chat bot to RPA bot. Now this bot can be located remotely. You're happening to see this in running because it is on the same laptop, but it could be running on a server or a remote machine and could be catering to multiple chat instances. And what that RPA bot does is, what Blue Prism does is, it feeds back the status of the delivery to the, to the chat bot, and it also makes a prediction on when the delivery has happened, would happen. If you would have noticed, I just received a mail as well, and this is the mail which has just come, as you can see, where it gives me the status, and it is also sharing the proof of delivery uh, picture. Uh, so the, this is a case where, and it actually did a bit of a prediction, it used a gaming model, and here are the centroids, in case you understand that, to tell you what are the possible time of delivery that is expected. So usual time is for 9.3, but it is expected to be in 10 days is what it says. So um, what you see here is that there is a RPA bot which is not only doing a schedule run, it is also capable of grabbing messages coming from email or chat bots and responding back to it just like how an API would do. And it can run in the background and do work uh, on behalf of multiple such chat clients or emails uh, very silently. So bots, the RPA bots not only run and do manual work which are scheduled, it can also rise up to certain events or requests and respond back to you. Now why am I doing it? Of course, I am virtually having a chat bot which is an assistant to me, but actually it is being powered by an RPA bot. So this is one of the many design patterns in which uh, RPA can not only automate, it can actually help you reimagine your processes. Thank you for this session on botlets. We will come back to you on the next one. Shivaji Basu here from TCS. Have a nice day.